You're a scientist mm -hmm. and a researcher and a professor, and, and you lecture to medical doctors across mm -hmm. the country. Yeah. Is that correct? Um, so are they more interested? I mean, would you say this is one of the most powerful antioxidants that is found right now in nature? Uh, for lipid antioxidant. Okay. The, if it's water soluble, then they are alpha lipoid acid and vitamin C. But it, in a lipid format, then it is the strongest lipid antioxidant. For the sake of time, and I'm trying not to rush here, but we only have about five minutes left. Uh, this is working with people with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good for the bones. Uh, helps with the arteries, keeping plaque from sticking to it. Radiation protection, good for the prostate, breast cancer, cholesterol and triglycerides, weight loss, fatty liver. Uh, and people in a study with high triglycerides, the blood fat, mm -hmm. took this and had a 28% lower triglycerides just by taking this. Yes, the big picture is it helped people with chronic condition. A lower triglycerides so that they would not get into diabetes. A lower cholesterol so that they, they would not plaque the artery. It, it uh, contained the sugar so they also would not go into diabetes. And also if it lowers the fat, it also removes the fat out of the, of the liver and so people would not have fatty liver. It also helped postmenopausal women to make the calcium stay in the bone so that they would not get into osteoporosis. So there's studies to back up everything you just said. Yes, uh, uh, with one uh, uh, correction. So far we have done animal study and it works on giving returning memory to the animal. We have not gotten to clinical trial on, on dementia and Alzheimer's disease yet, but we're very hopeful. Okay, so this, this, this antioxidant, Mm -hmm. That's in the vitamin E, tocotrienol, very powerful. It it uh, it targets inflammation. Not it only does it kill cancer cells, yeah, because you know this, you could see it attacking cancer cells, mm -hmm. but it, atta it attracts inflammation. So with Alzheimer's, they're saying now the new, uh, like Bredesen's book on mm -hmm. the end of Alzheimer's is saying that amyloid plaques might be an inflammatory response, a protective mechanism. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's what's going on and why it's why it may help with Alzheimer's prevention? Yes. Based on our other studies, both animal and clinical trials, we systematically see that when the uh, protection is as an antioxidant, it will reduce the inflammation. And when you reduce the inflammation, you essentially silence many of the aberrant things, the bad things that the cell is going to, because you silence them, because you reduce the oxidation. And it reaches the brain? And it reaches the brain, as is well that... as the liver, as well as uh, those three or four organs I mentioned to you on cancer. Let's talk about fatty liver for a second. Mm. Uh, and we are rushed on time. But so this, in a way, is good for weight loss. Or it, it is helps good the for weight loss. It, it, okay, this, we we were not expecting weight loss, as in weight loss product. We give it to uh, the patient for three months, and surprisingly, uh, the weight loss by 10, 10 pounds. And then okay. now we're conducting a follow-up study for six months, and they continue to have sustained weight loss up until 17 pounds. How? I, what's going on? Okay. We, we think that what's going on is two things. They take the, they take the fat out of the liver, because their fatty liver is a good thing, and the enzymes, the stress enzyme in the liver drop about 20-25%. An excellent thing. Every endocrinologist would tell you it's a good thing. All of this is because the cells are stronger or better. Yes, and it, functioning better. Okay. Because if the cell, the cell normally does this, but when the cell is becoming dysfunctional, it can't do what it's supposed to do. And in the liver, is the this, this thing is very simple. When the liver get past 5% fat, it will beginning to be stressed. Once it gets stressed, it will be not able to perform all the 600 functions that the liver does. So it makes the liver better. It lifts the make the liver better. 